somebody told me a few minutes ago that that Joe Biden this morning yeah, that he sent a message to our rally today. He was out on his back porch firing his double barrel and he ran out of shells. Has anybody got any shells? <laughs> we understand that um, All right, ladies and gentlemen, now, welcome, I guess, our newest state senator, Tom Corbin. Thank you very much. I know I wasn't slated to speak, but it's a privilege and an honor to stand here before you. Just a couple of things, I, points I want to touch base with you on, and I'm like Representative Chumley, I don't have anything prepared, so this is just from the heart. Two issues that are near and dear to my heart. I probably jinxed it. I'm sorry. Obama just killed one of our coal-fired plants. There we go. Okay, the, the, uh, the, to fight Obamacare and to stand for our Second Amendment rights. Well, we, the Obamacare Bill 3101 is being hashed out in subcommittee, but did you all know that there's already been a nullification vote cast in this state? Yes. I know that because I cast it against the, with, in favor of the NDAA bill. I was told when I went down to the Senate by leadership that there's some really slick uh, Democrat <laughs> senators. <laughs> and I won't mention Brad Hutto's name. <laughs> I was told I would be wise not to butt heads with him in these meetings. Well, I'm from Tigerville, and that's the dark corner. <laughs> I could only take it so long before I started butting heads. And so I, what happened in that committee was he tried to flip it over on us and say, oh, we conservative Republicans were in favor of protecting terrorists because we were against this bill. He said, kept saying, all this bill does is says if you're an Al-Qaeda member, and if you're out to hurt America, you can be detained. No. And I had to remind the good senator that our kind of members do not carry ID cards. That's right. And when I looked at him and I said, Senator, if I accuse you of being Al Qaeda, prove you're not. And that seemed to shut him up. But uh, the second issue that's near and dear to my heart, and there was a young man that you put your coat back on, but I want I want one of those shirts. I want one of those shirts. Wherever you got it, let me know. Here we go. Come and take it. I am the uh, I am the author of Senate Bill 247, which is the Protect uh, Second Amendment Freedom Act, is what I like to call it. The other side is trying to dub it the Militia Bill because they're afraid of that term. My terms don't bother me. In the end, it's what you get accomplished that, that matters. And I don't know if you know it, but each and every member, each and every citizen in South Carolina is already a member. If you're over the age of 17, you're already a member of our unorganized militia. So we are all militia members. What my bill does, it goes in and it defines our armament and our weaponry. And it is, um, it's everything that you can legally buy by the end of last year. And I just picked that date at random, I could have put yesterday. But all of the guns that we want to have and, and that we all have and possess is just what we can legally have now within the last year. So I put that in there and that should be codified in law. Now, it should pass the supremacy clause, if you believe in that, because it is unconstitutional for the federal government to disarm a militia. That's right. So, That's right. Correct. So, and I vetted this bill with some constitutional scholars. I'll be the first to admit I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but smart enough to reach out to others who, who know things I don't and enlist their help. So if we can get this bill passed, it should protect our Second Amendment rights forever. Yeah. And, and put an end to it, and that's what I wanted to do. I really appreciate all you all coming out today. You are the voice that matters. I fight and I fight hard, but I'm one person. But as a group and in unity, we can accomplish much. So God bless you all, and please keep me in your prayers.
All I can say about Tom's effort, just wait till we get an organized militia. There you go, man! 